spring of 2021, vaccine-induced immune thrombocytopenia and thrombosis, or VITT, was identified in a small subset of people who received CHADOX-1 and cov 19 the adenovirus-vectored COVID-19 vaccine from Oxford-AstraZeneca. The clinical features of this new syndrome and markers of prognosis in affected patients were not fully understood. In this prospective cohort study, an expert hematology panel reviewed the first 220 cases of definite or probable vaccine-induced immune thrombocytopenia and thrombosis that were reported in the United Kingdom. Overall, 97% of the patients presented between 5 and 30 days after receiving their first dose of CHADOX-1 and cov 19 vaccine. 85% were younger than 60 years. The median baseline platelet count was 47,000 per cubic millimeter, and antibodies to platelet factor 4 were identified in 90% of patients. Thrombosis occurred most often in the cerebral veins, followed by the pulmonary arteries, and deep veins of the legs. No baseline medications or diagnoses seem to be associated with the syndrome. Anticoagulation and intravenous immune globulin were the mainstays of treatment. Overall, 22% of the patients died. Intracranial hemorrhage and lower baseline platelet count were the strongest predictors of mortality. Cerebral venous sinus thrombosis, low fibrinogen level, and higher D-dimer level were also associated with mortality. The authors conclude that vaccine-induced immune thrombocytopenia and thrombosis occurs most often in adults younger than 60 years and has a high mortality. Certain features, in particular intracranial hemorrhage and lower baseline platelet count, are associated with increased risk of death.